Well, good morning, Issachar. How are you all this morning? It's barely still morning, so we're good. It is a pleasure to be here with you, to Bishop Sharona and this amazing team. We always count it an honor and a privilege to serve you, sir. Thank you for having us. It has been said that in large part that you are the sum total of the experiences and the conversations that you're privileged to have in this life. And um, I don't know about you, but we've been privileged to have some pretty amazing conversations thus far this week. Is that right? And uh, yeah, that's a good place to give a hand. I am a son of Pentecost uh, in that I grew up in a, a very charismatic Pentecostal environment. And one of the things that we have noticed and are very aware of in this room is the lack of scholarship and academic material in that world. Uh, but I believe that as a result of Issachar and the conversations that are being initiated here and the level of dialogue that's happening, uh, it'll no longer be said that we are not taking academic and legitimate responsibility for our information. And so again, I just wanna say, Bishop, thank you for hosting this uh, and making this available. How many of you have ever heard of Logos Bible Software? How, how many of you are like, what in the world is that? Now that's pretty awesome, that's just about everybody. Anybody on the fence, you're like, I don't know, I may be interested in that, maybe, maybe not. Awesome. Well, hopefully I'll be able to serve you with a little information that will uh, make that a little bit clearer what we do. Um, I've been coming up with definitions for the last couple of years having done this, and I would say the easiest way to describe Logos to you is that it is a Bible research system that makes it exceptionally easier not easy, but easier to do biblical research. So when you're getting into the word of God, we wanna equip you with the tools necessary to do that well. The great theologian John Owen once said that if the word does not dwell with power in us, it cannot pass with power from us. And so what we're here to do is really enhance that experience to really increase the power of your study in the word of God. When we come into Logos Bible Software, the first thing that you'll notice, what you'll see on the screen here is what we call our home page. On the home page, there's gonna be access to dozens of videos, articles, tutorials, and different resources that help to get you just engaged with the Bible. Uh, we also have there, of course, prayer lists, reading plans, a number of resources that are gonna help us to go deeper in the study of the Word of God. Now, for the sake of this presentation, I'd like us to look at a very traditional, classic uh, passage of scripture, John chapter four, the story of the Samaritan woman. Uh, we all know that story well, and so when we look at that in Logos, it's gonna look a little bit different than our King James Bible. So here, what you'll notice here in the center is I actually have our Bible laid out there, and then below that, Right below that, you'll notice there's some more information. That is actually a commentary series, and you'll notice here, there's a long list of commentaries that I can also interact with. So gone are the days of having several books on a table and having to necessarily travel with those. I've known of preachers that literally have additional luggage that they'll travel with on a preaching tour, on a preaching journey, uh, just to have that information readily available. Well, we've liked to uh, reduce that down to get that into a window here where you can actually interact with all of that information at the click of a button. When we pull that information over, you'll notice that that commentary automatically interacts uh, with this biblical passage. So as I'm scrolling through uh, this particular passage, you'll notice that the commentary set is actually moving along with me. Now that's gonna save a ton of time when it comes to interacting with scripture and doing study. Now how many enjoy word study? You really enjoy the power of words? Tremendous. We know that infamous verse in John 4 and verse 24 that declares that God is a spirit and those that worship him must worship him in spirit and in Amen. That word truth there is translated for us, aletheia. And in Logos, we've actually had a linguist and language experts spend hours upon hours upon hours giving us the exact translation and pronunciation of all of those words. Aletheia. So every word in the scripture has been translated, and we've done that background to really give you the length and depth and breadth of those words in understanding. 
So when Jesus was actually having this discourse with the woman at the well, and he was inviting her out of her shame, this woman who had been married five times and living with a man who wasn't her husband, what was he actually communicating to her? The truth of this is that that word aletheia is actually translated hiding nothing. So he was inviting her to come out of that place of shame and into a place of truth where she really could worship God without shame, no longer hiding. That's just a little bit of what Logos will do in terms of giving us further insight. Now, I also would like to just draw attention here uh, again to this left panel. You'll notice here uh, several cultural concepts listed. This is going to empower us in understanding the actual context in which we are preaching these scriptures. So understanding gender roles and issues, what it would have meant for a Jewish man to be having this conversation in public with a woman, and not only a woman, but a Samaritan woman. Understanding those kinds of intricacies of the text. We'll have media resources giving us visuals of that actual era, uh, biblical theologies, all of the cross references for that passage, and then different things biblically that interacted with that passage. So I'm just doing a very quick overview of some of the dozens of tools and features that are gonna be added here for our study. I'd like us to look here. Uh, what you see me clicking on now is what we call our tool set. And in Logo 7, how many of you are actually using the, the current platform 7? Okay, there may be some that are still on six or five or something maybe previous uh, to that. In seven, we've added another 27, I believe, new features that are going to include miracles of the Bible, speaking to God, names of God, uh, all of these additional tools to really help us to go deeper in our understanding of scripture. I just wanna take a quick moment to look at miracles of the Bible. Miracles of the Bible is unique in that we have actually uh, gone through the scripture from Genesis to Revelation and laid out every miracle operation in scripture to help us to better see uh, those things that were happening at the time. And so if we're interested in seeing all of the resurrections, we simply click a button. If you're preaching topically and want to have that at your fingertips, it's going to be a great resource. Uh, we have that as well for healing. Uh, you can see not only the miracles of healing, uh, but if you'd like to deal with the particular agents that were used in those miracles, we can click on all of the miracles of Jesus as it pertained to healing and just go to those specifically. If we'd like to see those that dealt with uh, clothing or the fringe of the garment, if we want to see those that dealt with uh, particular parts of the body and how Jesus interacted in healing with those miracles, we can see all of that particular information laid out for us there in that tool. An amazing, amazing tool. Now, one that I really would like to highlight is one that's gonna help us move information. How many seminary graduates, Bible school students, uh, former Bible school students we have? How many remember those awful, God-awful thing, dreaded things we call citations? Some of you don't wanna remember those things. You wanna act like that never happened. But I want us to just look here uh, briefly. I'm gonna make a simple copy and paste uh, of some information here. I'm gonna drag that into a Word document. And uh, that's amazing. It's always great when we're able to copy and paste. What I want you to notice though is there at the bottom, automatically it's generated that citation for us, saving us tons of time. So when you're putting together those bibliographies and doing your papers and your research, that's gonna be a huge time saver in terms of your preparation. Uh, this will translate in MLA, APA, Turabian, however you wanna take it. Uh, so it's gonna be a very, very great resource for us. I also would like us to look at something that we've added here in Logo 7 called the Sermon Editor. The Sermon Editor. In Sermon Editor, uh, what we've actually done now is made it extremely easy for us to prepare the Word of God. And so as you're preparing messages, as you're preparing lectures, this is gonna be a great tool for you. You'll notice here, uh, Dr. Shore and I have taken the liberty uh, of mocking a sermon for you. And so it has his name here, of course, and then below that it gives us the audience type It'll give us the sermon series, key topics, uh, several descriptions that we can add in there. If we wanna make sure that we don't preach the same message in the same place twice, throw that date in there, the location, we're all good. And then you'll notice here, uh, as we get into the actual sermon, there's gonna be several blocks. Now, when I highlight this, you'll notice that the handout button and the question button are both clicked. If I unclick those, it takes that highlight away. But when I add that, it's actually putting this document into a place where it can be doubled four times as a PowerPoint presentation, as a handout, as well as bulletin content. 
So it's gonna be a huge time saver, especially uh, if you are in a smaller church scenario and you don't have a huge staff to man all of these areas for you. You can actually manage all of that right here in one tool, saving you a huge amount of time. I simply, if I wanna get this PowerPoint added uh, for visual, I click export, send it to PowerPoint, and we're good to go. So that's gonna be a very uh, advantageous tool in terms of taking us from preparation to presentation. Okay, I just wanna show a couple more things and then we'll be done here today. Uh, how many history lovers do we have here? And before and after, we've done some really amazing artistic renderings to really allow us to go back in time. Uh, how many know what this location is here that's on the screen? Yes, absolutely. This is the old city uh, in ancient Jerusalem. You'll notice there in the center, uh, the Dome of the Rock. We know that that was not there in the time of Jesus. And uh, if we wanted to actually see what that looks like, we can simply pull back the cover and see what would the temple have looked like when Jesus walked the earth? What would that area have looked like at that time? Uh, so we can actually jump right back into history 2,000 years ago uh, with before and after to see several locations in biblical history to understand and communicate the gospel uh, with a very visual presence. And so if that's something that you're interested in, that's definitely going to be able to enhance your Bible study. Uh, again, as I mentioned, there are dozens of tools that we could walk through and if you'd like I'd be happy to serve you uh, and show you more of those things as I'm out there uh, just in the foyer but I wanted to make sure uh, that we showed some of the mainstays that are really going to be anchors in terms of accelerating your preparation and moving you right into presentation this conference is the first conference I've ever been able to give a 20% discount, uh, which is the biggest discount that we've given all year. Uh, that's gonna be a phenomenal price. Uh, we do have payment plans available as well. You may say, uh, you know, how much does that run? Well, all of the programs are actually built with specific customers in mind. Uh, we have an essential Bible study package, which is gonna be for a layman that's very familiar with their Bible. We have our ministry essentials package, uh, which is gonna be for someone who's a little bit more uh, focused towards ministry, moving in that direction. Our senior pastor's library, our diamond, and several others. I just wanna take a moment to show a few of those to you here. Our basic library, we call this our uh, bronze. This is gonna actually start out usually around $630 for over $6,000 worth of content. For this conference, we're actually gonna do that for 504 or for $43 a month for those 14 months. Silver is going to be our essential that I mentioned. Uh, that one actually runs usually around $1,000. It's on sale for this conference for just around $800 or $57 a month. And then our gold package, uh, that's gonna be our flagship, our mainstay uh, product. That one right there at $1549.99 or $76 a month. I mentioned again that we had uh, several other versions. Our platinum is geared more towards an academic mind. Uh, so if you're in seminary and wanting something to really enhance your study in seminary, this will be for you. Uh, then our diamond, we uh, have actually coded that as our pastor's library, adding uh, lots of preaching and teaching uh, outlines as well as homiletic material. This program has over 2,000 uh, sermon outlines in it, a phenomenal resource. And then our portfolio, uh, this is what we call our theologians library. This is built for someone who really knows the Bible and is serious about that. It's gonna give you lots of doctoral level uh, research material. And then our biggest and best collector's edition, that is the whole caboodle. Uh, that is what Dr. Sharona has and then some. Uh, so if you're interested in going to that level, <laughs> come and see me. We can take care of it. Uh, I did want to mention that we have gone mobile. And so you may have used our product and didn't know that you can actually access all of those resources on a phone. So when you travel, all of your books are literally on your phone. They're not gonna be downloaded there, but they're gonna pull from your cloud account. So it's not gonna take up a huge amount of space, but it will give you that function and that ability to do research. Uh, you can do that on a tablet, a Surface Pro, however you wanna do it. Uh, that's gonna be a great resource for you. Again, I just wanna thank you uh, for the opportunity to present here today, always a pleasure. Uh, the grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God will stand forever. Thank you so much, and uh, if we can serve you, please allow us to do so. God bless.